Hello and welcome back to another episode of Shiny Force 2. Uh, last episode we had to flee Grand's Island due to the collapse of the continent with the, uh, the evil tower still stood in place. And as Jaha was saying, we are on our way to the continent of Parmesia. And uh, yeah, let's uh, continue the adventure and uh, see how it goes with some high speed sailing. Sarah's always vocal and uh, obviously gets seasick. <laughs> we can see the mainland. I'm sure they cut many days of travel out there. The ship's going to be used for lumber after we land anyway. And the captain of the ship right now must be like, no, my baby. They're going to tear the ship up and use it to make their new town. That's what I call good seamanship. Like a glove. Okay. Let's build a new grand seal here. Break the ship apart and bring the timber onto the land. We can never go back to Grand's Island. Oh, there's not much of Grand's Island left to be fair. So if there's, there's empty barrels, I need to look in. You can do all the work for me. Okay, I can't can't go to the right hand side there. I like the way they're still calling me boy, and I've defeated all sorts of enemies. I've got both the jewel of light and evil, so... What's wrong? One of my friends has not returned from Northcliffe. He may be in trouble. We did hear that. Yeah, we'll go. Just don't call me boy again. Too dangerous to go alone. It's got to be a Zelda reference, right? It's over there. There he is. Okay. Okay, what we've got here? More ooze, witches, hobgoblins, and archers by the looks of things. to remember the hobgoblin has been real tough. Okay, where have we got these guys all laid down here? Looking down there. Good. They like to hide bats around the edge of the uh, the map. They just come out of nowhere and do insane amounts of damage. So Okay, nothing hidden. A couple of guys there. So we're going to have to deal with this party here and these two guys. So let's move down to deal with these guys down here first. Okay, 
Oh, she's straight in there. Okay. Freeze magic as well. Oh, that's famous. That's, that's her a lot. Okay. Let her have it. She's not taking a lot of damage either. Those witches are tough. We seem to have her isolated at the moment, though, so we can just focus her a bit. Or not. Oh, kill her off. I can't take another freeze attack. Uh, who did she attack? Cousin. Yeah. Let's heal him up. Oh, finally, she's level 7. And we have level 2 heal now. Hey, damage. Wow. Okay. We are... Um, uh, they're not in the formation I would like, but I can't afford to have the uh, attack again, so I'm going to use my level 2 blaze. Just to get rid of that witch. There's one more witch up the top there, I think. And they're dodging with higher frequency now. Seven damage as well. This guy does more than one damage. Okay, it's not. That's fine. I think it's going to be a case of just trying to do as much damage quick as quickly as possible to burn the enemies down effectively. Regardless of who gets the experience points. That's a welcome dodge. That's a very welcome dodge. And we are gonna... Is heal two, is it? No, it's just... It's just one person. I thought it was a... Uh, a nice uh, area of effect healing spell. Not, not quite. Okay, what to do with this guy? Let's go. Going on this goblin. Damage. It's just not, not good enough, really, is it? Um, and we'll try and kill this ooze off here. Level 10 already. It's easy when you do consistent, unblockable damage. Close to killing him. Can Slade do the job? Three damage. Right, our attack increased. That's good. Might start doing four damage, maybe? Okay, I'm going to take the guys up the top now to face these two. Great. I think Chester needs healing, actually, as well. Just while I remember. And I need to keep Torts. 
the tor tortoise guy. Um, Kiwi. Away from that witch. Because that witch will kill him in one, one spell. Where's that witch? Okay, a little bit, a little bit away yet. Um, Kazim is likely to get attacked in favour of Jar. chase this guy and do as much damage as possible. Try and keep the force together here. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, I was wondering about the tortoise, but let's heal Chester. Because he's taking seven per hit. So a second attack. Or... In a second attack, we kill him outright. Now, I've created myself a problem here in that Sarah can now be attacked. So I have to leave the tortoise here and switch. Um, hey, nice. And uh, switch who Kiwi's going for. But we should be able to kill this guy. The Kazin is going to be over leveled if I don't look out. So. Ah. Oh. Can't quite get there. be that we're about to be flanked. Let's put a quick heal on the tortoise. And Sarah's now up healing. It's going to be a slow levelling process for that guy. I'm going to leave Kazin there. Just got to be careful of that witch coming in. And that's another level for Chester. Great. So there's normally one key person on a map here which causes the battle to end. Trying to work out whether it's that witch up the top. I'm just waiting for this hobgoblin in the bottom here to run in. So we could potentially go and smash him up, but I think um, Jaha's so slow, I'm going to try and leave him there. soften this guy up a touch. Again, I don't want to get too much XP for Kaz in here. Um, actually, I'm going to stick Chester just here. Oh, which still isn't coming down. 
The reason why I put Chester there, obviously, is because I wanted to protect my spellcasters, who'd probably get killed in one hit by this thing. Okay, good. Bowie's up another level. Can the Slade finish the skull? Can. Good. So we now have, um, let's just have a look here, that Hobgoblin's running in to join these two. And we've got this guy making his way around, but he's going to be a while. So we should probably start making our way incredibly slowly to the north. Do you have any, uh, it does, but I don't really want to use that yet. Have we got any, uh, well, he doesn't have anything. He's so just going to run along, he is, he's on his way over. Okay. Okay, they're running around the back there, so we are gonna try and solidify our position here. That which still isn't coming in. See, if I run out of here, I, actually, I think the witch might be too far away to be able to run in and kill Kiwi straight away. But I think we need to engage this guy. Oh, it's going to kick off now. That's a big hit. Second attack, second attack. Dang it. Do with getting rid of this guy before he has another go to this, but we've got the others coming in now. So Kiwi's going to be able to take the uh, damage from the physical attacks. But like I said before, as soon as that witch makes her way down, and we are in trouble. Defense is going to help massively. And they've switched focus. Okay, um, she can't really do a lot, so I'm going to just put her here ready to run in and help if necessary. Okay, the extra level's good. It's time to do this, I think. Who gives a damn about the XP now? Just kill everyone. <laughs> and this is gonna hurt. Hopefully Chester, Chester will finish this guy. He's saying hopefully, have more faith. I'm sure I'm sure Chester's gonna kill this guy. 
And that was that was a mistake on my part. I said that extra defense was gonna come in handy, right? Kill the witch. Um fast enough. Do I attack the witch or do I attack the archer here? We try and kill the archer. Um, Kazin has enough magic left to do one attack. So... Let's see if we can get rid of this guy as quickly as possible here. That wasn't magic. Ah, oh, and Slade's gone. Oh, we lost our first guy in a fight, which, uh, yeah, that's gonna ha it's gonna happen. But you know, we tried our best. We get the kill here. Just a couple of turns too late to save our buddy. Um, again, Kazin really can't do a lot either. Hopefully, this is just an attack and not a free spell. If it is, not a counter, damn near killed her. Bowie for the win. Okay, so I think is it we've got to kill every single enemy. So it's just this ooze that's left. So back down we go. Providing we kill it within five attacks, Kiwi will be safe. I'm not sure to move Kiwi around the back here. That's a nice hit. And a good level as well. Great. So the AI seems to be um, focus on the first guy you attacked, unless something better presents itself, like a healer or the main character. I just thought Sarah's extremely underleveled compared to everybody else. So just for the magic points alone, that's useful. And we've completed the fight. A rock fell on me. Yeah. We believe you. How do you guys feel about sacrificing your force members for strategic advantage? I guess it's quite similar to chess. Obviously the Slade death was an accident, which I didn't mean to happen, I guess, uh, yeah, I just uh, forgot about the archer's range and uh, left him open, but so you guys put your force members in positions where they're likely to die, but actually you can get the advantage by separating out the, um, the enemy mobs on the uh, map. Just drop, drop us a comment maybe and let me know.
whilst we were out finding this guy, which probably didn't take that long, they've managed to build an entire town. And a year has passed. Do your best to improve our new home. And the king is still very, very distraught about losing his daughter. We lack trading. Okay, good, we're free. I could do with replenishing my stocks of everything. Cheerful bread. So I think cheerful bread gives us a boost to um, one of our stats. Force members are. Ah, okay, so the Warrior Pride, I think, is the upgrade item to allow Jaha to be promoted into a Baron rather than whatever he becomes. So I think Barons are basically the same template as uh, Lemon, where they get swords. I think they get bonus movement as well. Again, I'm spouting this all from memory, so I could be completely wrong. Okay, that's cool. Just search these. Uh, do you mind? Do you want to walk past me or...? Strange animal, really? Yes, it's a very big bird. Okay. Ah, it's um, Peter, our phoenix. It's big, I want to touch it. Wow. Okay, oops. Gosh, she's quick. <laughs> Shut up, bird. Oh my god, it speaks. Shut up, bird. Someone needs to break this up. Why have we not broken this up? I'm very happy to meet a man like you. Please stay here as long as you like. Let me introduce you to the king. Follow me, please. Okay, sadly our priest is there and not here, so we can't save the game just yet, so we're going to run inside. Let's see what's going on. 
Yeah, Phoenix. But legendary. I don't know about that. Volcanon. Yeah. The god. Sir Astral's certainly excited. These lads love trouble. I guess we kind of do. <laughs> oh, it's like a kid who's just had Christmas cancelled. And now the king's ordered it. <laughs> we are your companions, Peter. Okay, so I don't think he's not joined the force yet. But he's uh, definitely following us. We get more than 100 gold for every mob we kill. But thanks. Okay. So, potions. We want to buy... Um, to buy a few of these. So we've got a few things. Get set. Kiwi's only got 10 hit points, so you can have a couple of these. And that'll do for now. I want to go and see if we can upgrade our weapons. Is it this way? It's not that way. Okay, so middle sword, spear, a better axe, and they're the same as we've already got. So middle sword, we can afford, we can afford, we can afford. Okay, so let's sell um, the short axe. Bronze Lance. This is going to give Chester back the ability to attack diagonally. Which is really useful, especially if we're trying to hold a small, po a small point in the map. Because it means with Kazin and Chester stood behind, we can actually uh, have three people attack in one square. I don't think we have a lot of maps like that. I think mainly it's it's in like ruins and things like that, where there's, where there's rubble and other map-based obstacles. And the hand axe. Okay, that's all of our guys. And actually, I'm going to just check the deal section as well, and he's out of stock as per usual, which is fine. So that's our guys ready to set off. He didn't look in the well. Throw something in. Ah, okay. I thought it was a special thing there. Maybe not. And our priest is back here. And we are going to... Okay, they raised the uh, slave already. 
we're going to save the game. And we're going to call that the end of the episode. So thanks very much for joining me today. If you'd like to see some more Shining Falls 2, please feel free to leave us a like and consider subscribing as well. And in the meantime, take care of yourself and stay safe. See you soon. Bye.